Greetings. This is RC Dabbler. Welcome to the RC Dabbler channel. It's been a while. Uh, a lot of life has been going on, which is why I haven't posted a lot of videos. I don't. I don't post a lot of videos, but um, I wanted to. I wanted to post progress on this. My new. Uh, this is where I live now. I live in. Uh, I live in Missouri. I moved here from Washington. I think I might have mentioned that in previous videos. I'm not sure. Can't remember. My head's a little foggy these days. Uh, so we've been here a year now, and I mean, we bought a house that needed work. Uh, say hello. Uh, our house needed a lot of work, and I got kids, a lot of stuff going on. So I don't get to do a lot of fun stuff. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to um, see my my land is really flat as you can see it's really flat here <laughs> compared to where we lived before uh, where we had mountains and trails and stuff and uh, I was working on trails at our place in Washington uh, I had a nice big steep hill and I had some rocks and stuff I was getting rocks from a friend and I was building some trails down in the woods and we had to say goodbye to all that and move here. And uh, we have a better deal now. We're in a better situation living here. Uh, but I have four acres, almost four acres. And everything you see behind you, behind me is mostly mine. I have almost an acre in the woods here. Uh, it's, it's not completely flat. There's some ups and downs, but it's, it's mostly level, but it's very rocky. And so uh, if you dig in the ground, there's a lot of rock. And um, I found there's also a lot of poison ivy. And so poison ivy galore, I mean, it's growing up in vines that are like three, four inches thick on these some of these trees. So uh, I've been taking time every once in a while to come out in the woods and look for places where I can make trails you know, because I got to do something. I need some fun. You know, I need to, I need to be able to do, just get out and do some simple crawling. And so I found a place here. It was very messy. It was a hairy mess. As you saw in the beginning, the tires, the people who own this place, um, the guy who, the man, he had a business, I guess, where he stripped old cars down. And he, I guess this is where he brought the tires back at the back of the property at the edge of the woods and they used it for target target practice uh, they went hunting and this is what my neighbor told me because he was related to the person and uh so they would get their rifles out and use the the pile of tires to shoot into to get ready for hunting season right and so uh but it's nasty i don't i don't care for it i want to get rid of it uh, you can see it is humongous now we have some ideas for reusing these tires and so we're going to be using a lot of it and i may not have to get rid of uh, much of it we might be able to recycle a lot of this for our own purposes but this area right here is a really cool spot i don't know if it was man-made if it was bulldozed or if it's a natural mound but it's very cool. It's rocky. A lot of natural rock in here. Like I said, I don't know if it was bulldozed at some point. And maybe they decided to mound it up so that they could have a backdrop for, for shooting. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of rock in the soil here naturally. And so I've got some ideas. I can turn this into a little scale off-road park. This is what I'm going to do. And I've been doing a lot of work uprooting uh, barbed wire that's in the ground and all kinds of stuff. See these uh, fence posts? I've pulled all those out of the ground. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Uh, uh, let me see if I can show you where there's some barbed wire. Right here. Yeah, see that? There's stuff like that and it's nasty. I don't like it. Here's a bunch right there. Yep, see? And so it's, it's half in, half out of the ground. And so if I can't pull it out, I put on some thick leather gloves and I try to uproot it. If I can't, what I do is I take bolt snippers, bolt cutters, and I cut it as far down as I can. And then I bend it down into the ground and I cover it back up with rocks. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, there's still a lot to do, but I'm working on it slowly but surely. 
But what I'm hoping, see all this vine? There's a lot of wild grape vine. I've been cutting that and removing it. Just trying to clear this out. Uh, I think if I get it exposed, there won't be as many bugs and gnats flying around in here. Because usually it's so covered from the foliage that it stays moist and damp, you know, and mosquitoes and bugs are, are like crazy. But if I expose it to the, uh, to the sun, it might not be so buggy when I get out here. And so I'm trying to do that as well. And so I'm going to be moving all these tires over to there for now. I'm just going to make a pile, a separate pile over there because I think there's a lot of rock underneath these tires too that I can use. And so it kind of rises and it goes up and over. It's a nice mound. I mean, it's got a lot of potential for some trails. Make like a little uh, little scale off road park, you know, and make some little trails that go up and over and maybe put a little, couple little bridge areas or something, but we'll, we'll just see. I'm gonna play it by ear. I'm not very creative when it comes to that stuff, but uh, right now I'm just gonna work on clearing the area and just getting all this trash and nails and barbed wire fencing and other old fencing like that see that oh man what a mess so i just want to get it out for now i'm just going to work on demolition basically you know just junk removal and once i get all the junk out then we'll see about making trails and uh you know carving some some little roads and and bridges and things like that you know just uh and I'm also working on a trail going through the woods. I had a survey done to find out my border corners. And so I've also been working on making a trail that goes back to the to the border uh, points, my uh, landmarks and stuff. And so I want to get like a trail going back that way and where I can just walk or ride a bike, like a mountain bike or something. I let my kids ride their bicycles through here. Just a lot of work to be done. But, you know, what else is there to do, right? And so... That's, that's what occupies my time when I'm not working uh, and I don't have family, you know, events going on. I, uh, I come out here and I do this. And so, so that's the update. Until then, uh, this is RC Dabbler, everyone. Uh, a good February. Hey, this is the RC Dabbler. This is John with the RC Dabbler channel. Uh, I'm going to be adding this into the video that I hadn't posted for February. But anyway... I came yesterday and started gathering up all of my clippings, you know, a lot of my, the stuff that I pruned. And so I dragged a lot of that out. So it should reflect con considerably from the last recording that I made that it's a lot more open. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's very labor intensive. I enjoy it. It, uh, it keeps me in shape uh, since I do a lot of work in front of a computer. You know, I have to do outdoor work in the evenings and weekends to to stay in shape. Uh, but I enjoy it. It's it's a rewarding, very satisfying labor, um, and it's a uh, you know it's got promise so that I can. It's very promising because I will soon. Well, I don't know about soon, but in the near future, I will have uh, a place where I can build trails. You know, like little scale roads that's what i want to do with this area back here is to build scale roads and so i've been reducing the tire population <laughs> as you can see there's a lot of a lot of tires to be removed and moved around so we're using some we're you know we're kind of recycling their purposes and using them around the property my wife is going to make raised garden beds and uh i've uh I use some, I'm going to use a couple in my, uh, my crawler, my RC, my actual rock crawling rock ring in the front yard. I'm trying to make a nice kind of a pretty rock ring that won't be an eyesore to look at, but it'll still be close to the house and I can just get out and do some testing, you know, or if I just want a, a quick crawl and put a smile on my face, I can do that. But this is going to be my bread and butter, you know, this is going to be the place where that will yield the most joy. I think where I can come back and build roads, little scale off roads, little bridges, you know, uh, maybe even dig a few tunnels or something. I don't know, but this will be the place that's out of sight. You know, it's back in the woods at the edge of the woods. And, uh, so anyway, just a quick update. I've got, uh, I've revealed that there's even more trash that I didn't even see before. These old paint cans 
it's uh it's nasty i found some more barbed wire in the ground as you can see there there's more fencing that i uncovered and some of it i don't know if i'll be able to rip out or not but i'll try if i can't i will pile rocks all over it and bury it so that it can't be seen but if you look here there's trash look at all this look at this trash here man that's pretty bad old light bulbs and looks like some uh, oil filters car oil filters but there's also some nice big rocks in there so i'm excited to see what's underneath this big rock pile and uh i don't know if i'm going to be disappointed if there's going to be a, a good deal of rock under it i don't know but uh, i'm looking forward to it it's just a lot of work i don't think it's going to get moved completely out this year or not because uh it's going to get warm and then the snakes are going to come out and uh you know we got uh hey, we got poisonous snakes here in missouri so i'm gonna have to be on alert for that so i don't know how much longer i will have before that'll be a concern but i'm gonna try and get most of this moved out of the way so that i can make a kind of separate the tires from my little crawl area i just don't want to Right now, it's just it's just a big eyesore, and I'd like to move it completely out, off over to here, but I just don't know if that's going to happen this time or not. So it might have to wait until next winter, but we'll keep plowing away, and hopefully we'll make some good progress this spring before it gets too hot. And and uh, you know, yeah. Well, anyway, hope everyone's having a a good early March, and uh, let's march into spring here.